are going set. I just made Emma jump. I just thought I was making a video. All right. Oos. Sensei here, back with another video. Um, I don't even know where to start. Um, first, I want to say, um, start with my thank yous, my coaches. Right? I have um, my father, Kyoshi Ocasio, which I hold responsible for all my background in my martial arts, um, especially the boxing, the upper body education. This stands at the base of everything I do in terms of striking. Um, it really comes from him, and I try to replicate him as much as possible in the way he moves and so forth. Um, Coach Tang, Michael Coach Tang. Um, you might have seen him in Tommy's vlog as well. He's going to be helping um, face temper Thomas Oliveira get his uh, black belt in Taekwondo. Um, cool story behind that, so make sure you check out Tommy's video if you haven't seen that already. Coach Michael Tang is a three-time, I believe, um, U.S. national champion. He was on the, the USA team for Taekwondo. He actually works for the UFC as a liaison, and what he does is he helps in terms of like Taekwondo for MMA. So when guys need a look at MMA fighters who are doing Taekwondo or want help on certain things, he's the man they call. So he trains and it helps really big time um, people, big time fighters, the top of the top, the best of the best. Goes to him, he's been helping me out so, so much in the evening and, and coaching me and working some setups and so forth. And he was there obviously warming me up, which I get to see, so that was really awesome. And obviously my, my, my family, my students, the whole school that supports me, obviously like just with the extra support, the FaZe fan base, all of you guys who are fans watching this video, the support that you guys give me on like YouTube and stuff like that is the reason I do this. And the last thank you goes to Emma right here. She's my rock because you don't see all the behind the scenes of the whole week of all the nervousness that I'm going through, all the stress of having to make weigh-ins and I'm working all that stuff and trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this and that and then the stress of fighting. I'm a really nice guy. I feel really uncomfortable when it comes to me preparing for a fight. It's really difficult for me because um, I really don't like fighting. So it's one of those, like, in terms of like confrontation and that aggression. So it really helped that I had a nice guy that I was fighting, but that's just, I'm not that type of guy. But I am, I'm, I think I'm good at what I do and it's challenging and I, and, I, and I like that part of it. My opponent, Duncan Smith, the Highlander. Great person, great guy, and came out and had a battle and a war. Another tough guy made nails. I literally think I fought Wolverine. I told him this at the end. Like Wolf Logan, he has the whole hair going on, but he is just an animal. Everything I hit him with, when I hit him with a heel kick, I hit him with like certain strikes to the body. I'm like, man, it was, every time I hit him, he'd come back stronger, boom, 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 he'd come back stronger, boom, boom. So I'm gonna bring you through the weigh-ins. I have the footage of the weigh-ins, so the day uh, day before, um, and so forth, and then meeting my opponent for the first time, and that, that whole process, and then I have my getting my tape in my hands, getting warmed up, walking out into the cage, and then I have some highlights. Um, Deshi Joshua Munoz, my other corner man, recorded some of it. He didn't do a very good job, but he did a very good job because obviously he did it, but he's gotta, we gotta work on his recording skills a little bit, but um, he's the best, he's the best. He's, he's trying to watch me fight at the same time, so I can't blame him. His best friend's out there you know, fighting. So obviously he's trying to pay attention to that, not just the screen. So here is the weigh-ins in the day before. I already edited this as like a separate thing. So I'm just gonna hit play, you can watch that and then I'll walk you through everything else. Okay, oos. What's up guys, I am here at weigh-ins right now. I'm just arriving um, to the destination. It's bright. Um, title boxing, can't really see out there. Um, I'm right on weight, didn't have to cut any weight, 170. I just weighed myself on my own scale and I was like 100 and um, what, like 69.5 pounds, so like I'm obviously right at 170, I'm good to go. So I gotta go in there quick, get everything done, grab some food. I haven't, I only ate one meal today just in case, you know, but even though I'm, I feel like I was pretty good just to be safe. So just in case on the scale, any issues, whatever. So I'm gonna go away in now, um, grab some food and head back to teaching. So I'm gonna, I'm at 5%, so I don't know how much energy I'm gonna get, but if not, I'm gonna record with my phone. So if I can get some pics of the way in I haven't recorded way in before, I'm just vlog it. Maybe a little weird in there with all the fighters, but, um, Who's this guy coming? And I go by myself because um, that's how I do things. Uh, so I'm kind of going in there on my own, not with a team. So I got to kind of vlog everything myself. And maybe some like, I think some guys are here that actually I trained with before. So maybe they can help me record. Um, I'm about to jump on the scale, and I, I walk in and I see this guy right here, and I just met him. Tell him your name. Brody. He's been a fan of Pace for two years. So sick. Comes here. He actually knows one of the guys that I trained with too. So um, small world. I'm excited. He just been my day too, so that's awesome.
Right stance for me. Step back a little bit. That's it, quick. Right there. Freeze. Don't move. Good. Stay right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this yeah. is how it should be. So, yeah. This is my part. This is the weigh-ins right now. This kid just came up to me. He right now he's like, "What's up?" Because he has a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the link right now. It's gonna upload tomorrow. My and YouTube then, channel is not that big. I haven't really started it yet, but I got a bunch of stuff on Instagram, and it's coming. And then, it's coming. and then tomorrow we'll fight. Yeah, You'll going see that to war. craziness, and then after that we'll, we'll do something again. Yeah. All right. Doesn't have the enemies. Too. Yeah. <laughs> tomorrow we do. But, tomorrow. Oh. But tomorrow they'll be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Just finished weigh-ins right now. Um, I just met the guy. Um, I posted on my Instagram yesterday. This kid is such a great kid. I, I, I go, such a great guy that is. He's a year younger than me. But we get, we, I, you see him come in, and we're about to take our picture, and he comes to me. He's like, "Hey," he's like, "Do I love what you do on YouTube? We got to do something together. Like, I know tomorrow's war, or whatever. Like, yeah, we'll fight tomorrow. But dude, this is like what I want to do. Like, it's like so sick. He's like really, like really cool and um, really like respectful dude. But he's like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna compete, obviously, but." He has aspirations on YouTube and stuff like that. So I was like, dude, it's so awesome. Such a down to earth guy. Um, it's just really cool. You know what I mean? Really, really cool. He was a martial artist, traditional martial artist as well. Um, background. So I was just like, sorry, everyone's kind of looking at us because we're like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this. But you know, um, I don't know how many people in there know I have a YouTube and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, wild. What a day. This is wild. This is a weird feeling. Very weird. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a war. It's gonna be an honest competition of just kicking and punching as hard as we can. No, we'll be fine. It's all good. Oosh. Okay, so now let's talk about the taping of the hands. By the way, just so you know, I didn't have anyone to tape last time and it was really messy the way we went about it and I felt really bad and we had to ask somebody else to help tape my hands. It wasn't good, it wasn't responsible of me. So this whole week, I practiced um, on my own. We found some YouTube channels that have some good tutorials and then Josh um, Deshi Munoz over here practiced it and then he came in and taped my hands. And I must say, he did a very good job. It looked very professional. I was looking around at everybody else, everyone else looked good, but I thought we were gonna be looking pretty bad, but he did a very good job. Check it out. Right. Table through the fingers. I'm trying to make it look professional, because kind of, it feels kind of weird, you know, you, and then you know you do it for the first time, but everyone's kind of, look at these two legends. Right? That's Michael Coach Ting on the left, and my dad on the right. He's catching up, the old school stories. It felt so good to have him by, at my side. Here's me warming up with um, Coach Ting, doing some, some drills warming up, sliding in and out. This is some of the things that you see. When we do more, he's gonna have some tutorials and some more things coming out. So I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but that's some of the stuff. But this is just all about, this is the room they put you in before you walk out. So I'm just getting the nerves out, trying to strike. <sighs> nerves are flying high. You know what I mean? I just wanna get out there because you're getting to that fight mode. Your body's ready to go, um, but you're not. You're kind of sitting out back and stuff. So you're just getting antsy and just itching. So again, working some setups. Just keep my mind fresh and ready for certain things so I can just react when I'm out there and catch something. I kept hitting myself because I wanted to feel like, okay, my good, I don't want to be, you don't want to be afraid of getting hit when you go in there. You want to kind of, you know, be used to it. Let's do this. That's why some people get better in their second, third round because they've already been hit a couple times, they've got that out of the way, and then they're just going. This right here is probably one of the most tense parts when you're starting to walk out and everyone's just like screaming and so forth. I'm like, yeah, come on, you can do it. And you know you walk, and then you're realizing I'm walking into a cage. With another, and then we're about to, I'm about to fight with another human. We're not sparring, we're about to fight. You know what I mean? So, um, you see face tap with Emma right there. Face dance, great. Then I waved to my mom right here. I was so surprised. I got to see my mom. I didn't know she was coming. She gets really nervous sometimes, so she doesn't come. And I feel bad. But she was there um, with my family, with my uncles and stuff. So that was really, really cool to have them. This is another big part. They're putting on Vaseline in your face. You know, like you were, it's this whole anticipation. Like you good to go here, and it's just the atmosphere. Entering a cage with another person is a very unique experience. For other fighters, I feel like it's just not as big of a deal, but for me, it's just a really weird thing, honestly. I don't know. That's the way I feel about it. So this is actually recording with my phone, by the way. Now, so now we're gonna have some highlights of the, I think the first and third round. He didn't get a chance to record the second round. So some of the first round, some of the third round, some spots here, um, so you can enjoy some of the fight. Some cool stuff that happened. Check it out. He was quite aggressive, he kicked hard. Let's go, let's go, Yeah, I was trying to rip to the body. Left hook to the body. And his 
just ate him up. He had really, this is at the end of the round, the first round. He came out strong. I was able to cover most of it, then I came back at the end. That was a little bit after the bell. I'm sorry. Very good kicker. He like kicking. Very elusive. Totally with him. That was a good matchup. That's it! That's it! Right, right! Right, right, kick! Right, right, kick! Right, right, boxing in there. Right leg, sent it! Right leg! Right leg! And I kind of was doing it. My heel is so swollen. As you can see it. And I'm head right inside the head. He comes back. He smiles. He looks at me. He's like, come on. Boom, boom. We're going to go back. I'm like, goodness. I was able to shade some of the stuff. Kind of my boxing as well. Roundhouse! Okay, so this part, hilarious. I think it was in the second round when my dad said it. But um, working a lot. This is one-on-one -on -one coach Michael Tang. Tang Fu, we call it here. Sliding back and then returning with a roundhouse kick. This stuff I wasn't really doing a lot, but I'm practicing a lot with coach. Where I would slide back away and then immediately return with a roundhouse kick. So... It wasn't like stepping and kicking, if you guys know. It's just slide and kick. So this is something that you can tell purely from my training with him that came out when my dad was yelling, low kick. You can hear Dashi, low kick. Um, they were really yelling at me. But my, at one point, my dad said it with a dad voice, um, like a command. And then when he said that in the ring, I heard it was like my dad yelling at me, bang, and then I did it. So it ended up working. It was kind of funny. Um, but yeah. Roundhouse. See, slide. That's it, again, again. Cardio is not that great. Kind of disappointing. I'm trying to pick my shots. Oh! Right leg kick! 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 Let's go! Let's do it! Let's swing! Right leg kick! Let's swing for the fences! And then we embrace. And then we go for this. Right leg to the leg. Yeah, right leg to the leg fly every time. It's all good. Super relieved that it's over. Yeah. Maybe I thought those things I could have improved on. I feel like my party was real. It's kind of oversized. Like what are you made of, my man? <laughs> You're Wolverine, for real. I'm not calling him Wolverine. Like he's made of titanium. Like nothing I did hurt. It takes a lot of gas out of you, doesn't it? No, for sure. Yeah, I think I did with some of that. This here more fun. Great fight. At this point, I was still unsure. As you can just watch this as it happens with the scoring. This point, I wasn't sure because I was moving back a lot in distance. I wasn't sure if I was going to see it. I did enough, but I really wasn't sure. Possibly training with him and doing some stuff with him and helping him out. The potential background, great guy. Ah, got the tie. Let me go take a picture. Hey, 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 I don't know. I went looked at my phone. There was no picture, so I don't know what happened. So he shot the video, and then he goes, "Let's pick a picture." He never did, but it's okay. Guys, thank you so much for all the support. Um, the night really went well. I mean, looking forward to the in cage footage and uploading that. So I think that's going to be an awesome, awesome video. Um, to share with you guys super intense super back and forth and you get to see the whole second round which you didn't see in, in here a little bit and see the whole fight completely so that'll be cool and um i'm gonna go into training right now i gotta focus on my on my fifth degree black belt so i'm focusing on getting my black belt i'm focusing on training and teaching right now and then we'll see about the next fight maybe later in the year and so forth um but and then i'm going back to the face house soon a lot of stuff coming up so be on the lookout thank you guys i love you pays up Oos.